The U.S. is to pull most of its staff from its embassy in Cuba, American media report, after reports that staff suffered sonic attacks. The U.S. is withdrawing about 60 percent of its embassy staff in response to attacks on diplomats, senior unnamed officials were quoted as saying. It is also warning Americans not to visit the country because some attacks occurred in hotels, the sources say. More than 20 diplomatic staff have reported health problems. Cuba denies any involvement in the reported attacks. Last week U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said the decision whether to shut the embassy in Havana was under evaluation. Diplomatic staff had suffered conditions ranging from mild brain trauma and hearing loss to dizziness and nausea, it was reported at the time. At least two Canadians have been affected by similar symptoms. Officials quoted by the Associated Press say the U.S. is ordering all non-essential staff in the embassy in Havana to leave along with all family members. Only emergency personnel will remain. They say the U.S. is halting visa processing in Cuba indefinitely. They say the steps will remain until Cuba can assure the U.S. its diplomats are safe. Despite an investigation involving the FBI, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and the Cuban authorities, there is still no full explanation as to the cause of the incident since late 2016. President Raul Castro had reportedly given his personal assurance to the then U.S. charged affairs in Havana that Cuba was not behind the attacks. The U.S. reopened its embassy in Havana in 2015 following decades of frozen relations. In 2016 President Barack Obama became the first sitting U.S. president to visit Cuba since Calvin Coolidge in 1928. In June President Donald Trump announced a partial rollback of Mr. Obama's Cuba policies but said he would not close the U.S. embassy in Havana.